Hello, my name is Kevin Daniels, um, and I own Fix Hardware. Uh, I'm here at the silo today. My good buddy Zach, he's helping me uh, put together these videos. This one is in regards to installing um, the Fix Triplex bolt. It's a 12 millimeter bolt. You need to use a 12 millimeter hole. It um, is a sleeve, mechanical sleeve type bolt. Um, consists of three pieces. Uh, should be using a 12 millimeter hanger with it. That's a hanger with a 12 millimeter hole. The entire sleeve fits through the hole. <clears throat> this, in my opinion, is right now um, the best mechanical rock anchor that um, we have. It's designed specifically for rock climbing by Fix. Um, it's a tested and certified product, and um, it works. It works fantastic. <clears throat> to start, we need a good um, we need a, a a good hole, a good hole if there is such a thing. We need the proper size hole, so you need to make sure you've got the proper size bit. This is a 12 millimeter. Um, I've drilled one hole with this, so I know that this is sharp. This SDS bit, the shoulders on this bit um, are in good shape, uh, which means I'm going to get a a proper uh, diameter hole. As these bits wear down and then in hard stone, they can wear down really quickly. Um, the shoulders will wear down, the carbide shoulders. And as the shoulders wear down, the holes get tighter. When the holes get tighter, people call me up and they say, hey, my bolts won't go in. You sold me the wrong bit or, you know, what's going on? And um, so that will help alleviate that problem. These bits don't last as long as we'd like to think they do. Um, so if you're having problems driving your, your bolts in, that could be one of the one of the issues that or maybe the holes aren't cleaned properly so let's drill a hole uh, obviously if this was a, <clears throat> a chunk of stone here our silo you know we'd want to make sure that you know where we're going to place this bolt um, we don't have any features we don't have any loose flakes it's a nice solid um, area so you know whether I climbed up to this position you know and I'm going to plate place this thing um, on lead or I've wrapped down I want to make sure that this section of rock is is in good shape and um, we'll uh, we'll take this fastener <clears throat> I got my Bosch annihilator um, this thing drills uh, you know a really uniform um, hole so one of the things I like to do you know is um, kind of oval out that first little section of hole uh, maybe the first eighth inch, three sixteenths. Uh, so it's not such a square angle. And it's a little easier for the uh, the uh, bolt to get started and get seated. Obviously, we want to drill our holes um, a little deeper than the overall length of our bolts. So usually I have a little piece of tape um, on my bit. I don't in this instance. So I'm going to just double check it. Maybe give it a little bit more. That should be good. Second thing we want to do is we want to clean out the hole, you know, in a brush. A test tube brush works really well for that. <clears throat> and a blowout bulb or a blow tube of some sort works really well for that as well. I like this because <clears throat> when I'm hanging on up there and placing these bolts, um, I can kind of do so with my mouth and one hand. The next thing we're going to want to do with this triplex bolt before we get it started is we need to create a little expansion uh, down here in the uh, the sleeve and the uh, taper into the bolt. The way it is now for the most part it will almost slide in the hole. So we want to tighten this nut just a little bit create a little bit of expansion so as we drive this in <clears throat> excuse me we make sure that the sleeves of this bolt are 
making contact with the uh, with the sides of the hole. Probably good practice to <clears throat> keep some kind of eyewear on, you know, when we're placing these things. Um, another thing is we want to make sure when we're installing these bolts that we're not striking the nut in any way, shape, or form. Um, we want to make sure we're making contact with just the end of the bolt itself. Um, if we were to hit this nut, and when people hit this nut, what they do is they they potentially damage the threads um, of the nut and the threads on the end of the stud itself. And it's actually really easy to um, compromise and uh, fracture those threads. So we want to, excuse me, we want to make sure that we're not hitting the nut itself. That really um, comes into play when we're installing stud type bolts any type of a wedge anchor or a stud type anchor. We want to make sure that we're not um, hitting the nuts. Got more company here. This is a popular place. Orientate the hanger in the direction of the load. Tighten this thing down. short of a bolt. The thing that I really like about these triplex bolts is you could take them out. kind of see what's going on with them <clears throat> and this concrete you know was poured so long ago it's got a lot of pockets and um, air gaps and stuff in it kind of the same thing that happened with this bolt we placed a little while ago place happened with this and that we hit some type of a air pocket in there so what I'm gonna do is uh, go with a little bit longer bolt you know, and it's almost perfect that these things are happening as I'm trying to place these bolts. You know, and I, as I said, I wanted to use this silo versus just, um, you know, some granite out here in the buttermilks or something like that. And what it's doing is creating some problems as I'm trying to place them, which actually is perfect for this, this whole, you know, illustration purpose. So um, we're going to cut out for a second here. I'm going to get a longer model of this same bolt, and we're going to drill another hole and place that. All right, so we moved up a little bit. <clears throat> I drilled the hole up a little higher. There's some rebar running through here. Uh, but I've drilled the hole a little deeper. Cleaned it out. Got my bolt ready here. Baby down. Whoa. 
with this triplex bolt the manufacturer wants us to get about 25 foot pounds So, that baby's ready to go. Um, the triplex, one of the things I really like about them, as you saw earlier, if need be, you can loosen this nut up. Again, make sure you don't hit the threads. You could drive the stud back into the hole. And you can use the hanger to remove this thing. You can inspect it for corrosion or this or that. You can use the same hole and install the gluing into it. And you can reuse this bolt, which um, in my opinion, makes it a really um, a really useful tool. It's it's a uh, it's honestly hands down probably the best bolt available um, as a mechanical sleeve type bolt. Uh, there you go.